Hello and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. It's another podcast. I'm here with Nick. We're hot on the case of the Joe and Hunter Biden corruption uh, allegations. We have a couple uh, big stories that we're going to break today. It's such a fun story, dude. It is fun. It keeps giving. Yeah. It keeps giving. Is, is I the think the latest it's... is Joe, Joe Biden's secret emails. Who? He was emailing his boyfriend? All these guys have secret emails. No, he used, uh, he would use the names of black women. Really? Yeah, Robin Peters and Robin Ware. And... I don't know if those are black women. This is uh, he had one that was just J apostrophe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden? Yeah. Oh, wow. Joe Biden Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and he would use the voice on the phone, too. Yes, I'm a friend of Hunter's. Hi, I'm Hunter's best friend. Yeah, hi. Joe Biden. <laughs> let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out. <laughs> hey, how, how are you doing, Honey Child? <laughs> I tell you, hey, Honey Child. He's a... Uh, his, his concept of... of I mean, the, the best thing that came out of that corn pop video is his concept of black society is, yeah. is like in, in 1945's Delaware. Yeah. Yeah. Honey Chow. Honey Chow. Yeah. I called him up and I said, uh, what, is it, what, what part of his face does he touch? I think it's like, yeah, it's his like nose or his cheek or something. Yeah, he's that's a very That's a very subtle detail about the joke yeah, yeah. that you, you hey, picked up on. Honey Chow. <laughs> He is awesome. Man. Yeah. He is awesome. It's going to be so funny when, like, in, in 100 years, Joe Biden's going to be, like, one of those presidents, like, uh, like, um, like Johnson. Well, no, like, fucking, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, Cormulus T. Grump feel or whatever. You know, like, one of these, like, weird presidents that nobody, like, who the fuck is, who the fuck is Dingus Arbuckle? A guy that was president for uh -huh. two years during the yeah during the War of eighteen twelve yeah yeah Martin Van Buren Van Buren did stuff though what did he do he had chops he invented all the furniture in the White House did he yeah he came up with Chesterfields oh wow yeah wow Martin yeah yeah he's a he was a like a interior decorator and president mm -hmm. that's pretty cool yeah yeah I can't wait for until we have the first gay president and oh we read it about Obama I know but the the first uh, First fella, what do you call it? First boy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you call the, that? I guess just the first husband. Yeah, um, Pete the Buttigieg. first. Yeah, the first. But it husband. can't be Mayor Pete. The first Mayor, man. Mayor Pete is the Republicans' version of a gay candidate. He is. He's, he is the least. He's gay. the gay version of like Alan Keyes or Herman Cain. He just doesn't have swag. Yeah. Yes, he is exactly. He is like a right, but he's a less funny. It, it, he's he's the kind of guy that if you're like homophobic, you would point to him and be like, "I know this guy." Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have gay friends. Yeah, yeah. It should be it should be the biker from Tom of Finland is president, and his cop friend is his husband. He should just have the biggest lump under his under his pants. Yeah. If we had President uh, uh, Leather Daddy Tony the Tiger. <laughs> If it was a cartoon tiger with a giant dick, yeah, that would be awesome. Exactly. They want someone that is that f ticks the box of the. Our minority. policy towards China would just be show them a picture of the president, and then they would capitulate to anything. It would be funny if, like, in the classic politician style, like Pete, like code switches, but with you know how like Obama would be at a black church and he'd go like real yeah. pastor, or and he'd, go, he'd be in the South and he'd go like real yeah. Like, yeah. Good old yeah, boy. you know, I can't wait to get some chicken and waffles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if Pete did like that, that, Pete went to the Folsom Street Fair in San Francisco, and he just completely mm -hmm. code switched. Yeah. But with, like, still the lack of charisma that he still has. Yeah, San Francisco used to serve cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, all the, to all the bottoms, the gossips, he has just the so much. Daddies. He has so much anger in his lips. He, there is like a there's a blackness mm -hmm. inside of him. Yeah, and that's not a race thing. That's a, there's a darkness. And there was one debate where you could see him like his hand behind the stage. He was... Well, he hated um, it, what's her name from Minnesota. They hated each other. She hated Pete. Flo from Progressive. No. Uh, oh, the big bitch. No, no, no. The 
that that lady from Minnesota that was running as like yeah, a centrist. Yeah, like Susan Corpulent. I don't remember. Her name. <laughs> no, she was a big. Yeah, big, Susan Corpulent. And then they were like, yeah, she she's, wasn't a big, big. She's like throwing her staffers through the wall. Yeah, yeah. She, she doing, abused like, her staffers. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. was fucking picking she, them up. She and, had like she was kind of awesome. Yeah. yeah. She was like, uh, where the hell is my sandwich? She's fucking <laughs> right through the window. <laughs> you know, I need my sandwich. Yeah, but she never got a cabinet post. I she probably f- pissed some people off. Yeah, Klobuchar. Klobuchar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amy. Amy yeah. Klobuchar. Yeah, her whole thing was kitchen table conversation. Who did I her. meet that liked her? It was exactly the type of woman you'd expect. It was like she was some, going Klob? It was somebody's like sister or something. She's like, like, I, like support- I love Klobuchar. And they were like... That's awesome. Yeah, you would. It sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, we really. It's kind of like globe trotter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a Japanese like uh, fuck up yeah, translation. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Globe trotter. If there was a Harlem globe trotters video yeah. game, the yeah, name yeah. In Japanese would be. Rumakuru. Globe trotter. Ready fight. Yeah. Yeah. Jaime. Yeah, it would be Hamie Klobuchar. Hamie Klobuchar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she had fire. She Hamie did fire. <laughs> Klobuchar. Hamie Klobuchar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she hated Pete, I remember. Mm-hmm. She would, like, stand next to him and be like, I fucking can't stand him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, awesome the two of them guy. have very much, like, fighting over who's the boss of the class project. They're Yeah, they're yeah. both the, kind of the same person. Yeah, right. Yeah. Different versions. I'm putting my name first. <laughs> I raised my hand first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really, we just need these fucking primaries to kick off, dude. I need some good TV again. Did anyone watch the Republican debate? I think like four people watched. There's no point. There was there. one? I think so, yeah. Or there's Who was one it? coming DeSantis? up. DeSantis? There's one coming up. I know Trump's not participating. But what the fuck is the point of a Republican debate at this point? I guess because they need a candidate, right? For to run. Yeah, but nobody, like, are there undecided Republicans? I don't pay attention to anything. I'm sure there are. I just stereotype people. No, they, we need it for TV because it's a show that we get every four years that yeah. we love. I, the actually, best show. I say that and it's like I will be watching them. What are they even talking I'm about? I'm going to watch every single one. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's wanna, just I one guy this... yelling about trans people and the other guy being like, yeah, great, but the vaccines. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like, what does it have to do with the economy? Right, exactly. Do they even talk about the economy anymore? They, if they don't let Trump, it's going to be, the ratings are going to be, like, through the floor. Well, Fox News is, like, they're at war with them now. Why? Just make peace. Give us what we want. Because he cost them $750 million. <laughs> he's, like, he's just awesome, dude. He's an unstoppable <laughs> force. Just destroying Fox, destroying he everything. Cost them three quarters of a billion yeah. dollars. Destroying America. And Tucker's job. Destroying America. And their prime time star. He just and also too, it's like all he the things he, all the things he does that are bad are just the things career politicians do. He just fucking says that he's doing them. I know. He's like, I'm gonna go rape this bitch real quick. Yeah. Watch me. He's just <laughs> loud about it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we stole over two billion dollars from Saudi Arabia by influence peddling. <laughs> Like, okay. shut up. Dude. Yeah, right. You're not, you're supposed to, you're supposed yeah, to yeah. whisper. They say they want to murder a journalist. I said, give me $2 billion. <laughs> <laughs> I said, give my, give my heap stepson $2 billion. You can murder whoever you want. Dude, he, we got to get him back. Yeah. It was crazy that, like, when, uh, what's his name, Ariel Pink came on the show, he was like, he was like, yeah, Don Jr., he's next up. He's no. got the sauce. No. That's like the worst take I've ever heard. Right, yeah, that weird larval man. What a strange, yeah. bizarre like take. Which one is the one that looks really fucked up? Eric? No, there's one. The girl? I think it's Don Jr. Don Jr. is the one that doesn't look like him. The other one looks like the fucking failed clone. Eric is blonde. Eric is the that. failed clone. Yeah, Don Jr. is like, uh, he's like... Maroon Do you remember colored? that comic, Sean uh, O'Connor? He was like boys with Sean Patton. He was a guy that was like one of the... He was around. He was, he was like on the come up when we moved. He's an L.A. guy, though. Yes. Yeah. He's a, this guy. 
I always thought Eric Trump looked exactly like him. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I think they all look similar quality. Yeah. yeah. He's um, funny. Yeah, that guy's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I just like, uh, we need these people back. Yeah. I mean, things like, aren't going to be good. It's like, there's no. No, I mean, it's like, it's. it's if they're going to be bad, they might as well be fun. Exactly. Yeah. We need that. I yeah. mean, like, it was so awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was so funny. I hope January 6th happens again. I hope Trump runs again, loses, like, by, he gets, like, 20,000 votes. <laughs> and then he's like, they stole it even harder this time. <laughs> Fuck it. They just, they, this time they actually kill Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and then he's still like, it's fine. I don't understand how this is a crime. <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong with He doesn't him. go to jail. All right, yeah. Oh, my God. You think he's going to go to jail? I I really I I've said it before, but I just I don't I really am not paying any attention to it. I'm not because it's every single time they've told us it's a rap. Mm-hmm. My man slides out. Yeah. All I care about is are these debates. You gotta let my man in the debates. Yeah. You have to let him in there. Yeah. He's a fucking star. Yeah. It's the best show that we that we get every four years. We didn't get it last time. I don't want them to ruin our show. It's diminished because of the pandemic. We didn't really get a lot of him. No, yeah. but he was working the road. I kind of want to go back. During COVID, he was he, working he the road still. He killed yeah. her, uh, fucking he Herman Cain. He should release Herman Cain died from one of his... Yeah, yeah. He should just release a special. He was doing stadiums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he I mean, crushing. that video, the plastic straws, it's like, this is just, this is, this is what stand-up is now. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plastic forks, knives, that's all fine. The straws, they got to go. Yeah, he's mad at faucets right now. <laughs> he thinks Biden has made all the faucets pussy. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. He's like, there used to be twice as much water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's just like, it is literally the ramblings of like fucking like... It, well, it's stand-up comedy. It's stand-up comedy. It's a false premise and then not even... With your own false premise. A you deliberate don't even, misunderstanding. A deliberate misunderstanding. Of your own false premise. Of your own false premise. Yeah, that's, that's all stand-up comedy is. And your guys love it. Mm-hmm. His guys just love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he was doing fucking like 50,000 person like speeches, peak COVID, killed Herman Cain. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so awesome, dude. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was at home in their apartments that, like tweeting about how this is so stressful. Oh, uh, yeah, right. And how this is so unfair to me. Yeah. Yeah. Trump was like literally, yeah, you had like, Fucking like journalist Twitter people just like stressing out about like being around their kids and not getting any peace and quiet. Yeah. And this guy's just living his dreams as mm-hmm. the last comedian in America. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, dude. He fucking, we could get him in those debates again. I, I want to go back and watch the, the few debates that did happen from 2020. Because it's mostly just Trump saying all this Hunter Biden stuff that is now true. Oh, in the debate. Yeah. I thought that he went... Well, he did mention it. He's like, yeah, Hunter made... And they like, only debated once. He's like, Hunter, wasn't it twice? Biden got the facelift, and then they, like, pumped him full of the adrenochrome. Yeah. And then he came out hot. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, shit, will you ever shut up, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was a big line. Yeah. Yeah. Biden, like, had, like, one last job. Mm-hmm. He really just, like... He, he, his brain is just like... A, they should th- let them both be president. I would love it. Yeah. I would love it. We should have it. It'd be like uh, like ancient Rome. You know just, where they had, they had two sen- like uh, emperors? Yeah, it was the, um, what was the triumvirate. It was three guys, right, I think? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is mostly based off the TV show I don't Rome, know shit. Where yeah. Magnus Pompey and Julius Caesar were the two guys at the top. Yeah. And Julius Caesar was at war. And uh, the Senate was like uh, conniving to take They're all power. Gossips. Yeah, they're yeah. like, it's like Caesar has spent too much money for his <laughs> war in Gaul. Caesar was gone for twelve years, and he comes back, and uh, that's when they they uh, well, no, that has to be after because that was well, they killed they killed kill Caesar. Him. Yeah, I don't know, but I thought there were two guys, or there was a, or maybe it was fucking. 
I think after Caesar was three guys. They had a senate, and then they had <laughs> the emperor. Uh, but prior to that, there were two. Because at the start, it was Romulus and Penis. Romulus, uh, Penis. Triumvirate, because there's two there's balls a, in one. Yeah, there's a dick and two balls. Yeah. yeah. That really should be how. And all of them were like, I'm the dick. How funny the other that's the how, how society was structured. And you were like, there is no such thing as the patriarchy. <laughs> the leader is well we elect a penis that's just a name it's just a title and then he has two the testicles <laughs> it's just a title yeah uh testicle biden this question is about the economy uh, <laughs> you have been eating your own cum which a lot of people are excited about yes i have we love biden i love biden we should put it in the freezer they just don't let him speak enough yeah He's just, he's awesome. Yeah. They like wheel him out every two months. But when he does speak, it's perfect. They're it's like, awesome. yeah, there's a video of your son fucking a seven-year-old girl and holding up a check that says to Joe and Hunter Biden from uh, the Joker of Ukraine. <laughs> uh, what are your comments on this? It's like, I love ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I just, when I was a kid. I love a big old, nothing better than a wa- waffle cone. <laughs> you ever hear about a waffle cone? <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> All right, see you later, man. I do think functionally he is the best president of our lifetime. Yeah? I think kind of. And what do you mean? In what way? He got out of Afghanistan, the longest yeah, war. Yeah, but then started Ukraine. Well. <laughs> it's like Afghanistan ended to start Ukraine. We're just flipping weapons. Yeah. We're not fucking like sending people. Ending That's Af- what he gave. Ending Afghanistan, good if it's not immediately followed by another war. Listen, we got to sell we got to sell guns. Yeah, I guess. That's our that's one of our main businesses. Speaking of selling guns, I am super excited to attend the new Taylor Swift concert. Are you, no, so you're selling guns in the lot? I'm purchasing guns, <laughs> which is unrelated to uh, attending the new Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> what? <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm excited to see Taylor Swift with my brand new gun. And and I've been looking to find the best deal on Taylor Swift tickets. And the way to do that is going on Seat Geek. Seat Geek. I actually use it a lot. And guess what, guys? It's not for fucking nerds. It's for cool people. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they chose the name Seat Geek. Yeah. It's not for you. It's you not, think you're like, what is this, a, a nerd app? To go to what? The furry convention? No. You could actually go to cool Which shit. Which there, like there was. You were right. There was a separate furry convention other than the LGBT, NGLCC convention. There was an LGBT Chamber of Commerce event at our hotel yeah um, and they were throwing well that down. was in the city that was massive that was huge well because it's that's cast such a wide net any business that a gay person uh-huh. works at yeah that's got to be every business yeah it's gay to have a business well no i mean there's got to be at least one gay person at any business yeah well i think it's about gay owner own- maybe gay owner anyways that was a massive thing but I saw a couple of furries there, and I thought, oh, these are that's the type of gang. That's and, for the bi- Chamber yeah, the, of Commerce. That's for the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> I thought it was, but the NG, NG, whatever the fuck it is, NGLCC thing, that ended, and there were still furries around. Yes. Yeah. It was a, we were talking about our hotel in Denver this weekend. It was a mixture of us, people in town for a, uh, what's his name, uh, Ed, Ed Sheeran, Sheeran. Sheeran yeah. concert and uh, furries and the LGBT chamber of So all of four types of gay people yeah. were represented. Us. Ed them. Sheeran fans. Yes. Us fans. Us fans. And, uh, <laughs> furries and regular gay business. I got to say the vibes were good. Yeah. The vibes were really good. It was very yeah. positive. That might have been the gayest weekend of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I didn't even have to do any stuff. Better than that shit. all guys cruise that Steven found. <laughs> Did you see that website? <laughs> the guys only cruise. Yeah, <laughs> dude. They had a frequently asked questions section on that website, and one of the number of the top questions was, "Do I have to be jacked to go on the cruise? <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I have to be fucking ripped to go on the cruise?" And what they say, no. They're you like, be... they're, well, it says the answer is very funny, but and it's like, what do you mean very? You wrote the question. Yeah, it's it's the question <laughs> to yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's just, a rhetorical. Yes. Yeah. 
Ha ha. Anyways. There you, you go again, Adam. And this weekend, if you were going to Denver, you could have used SeatGeek to go to any one of the four gay events they were having in Denver. Yes, especially the Nick Mullen uh, show. Yeah. And, oh, just as an aside, uh, this weekend, the 24th to the 26th, I had so much, I'm in Washington, D.C. I had so much fun doing the, the, the special, I don't even want to release it. Why? Because it's, you know, I'd rather have it, you know, this is why I don't take pictures either. I, well, I have to tell you something. I'm paying Steven to edit my feature, and then I'm going to release it before you. And I'm going to say, oh, okay. full special Adam Friedland, if anyone d- copies after this. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. So maybe I'll prohibit you, you know? So the worm has learned to make its own webs. The worm is eating its ass. The worm, <laughs> the, the worm eats its own ass. Ah, so the worm eats its own ass. I see. At Seat Geek. Uh, yeah. At Seat Geek. At Seat Geek. I actually just used <clears throat> Seat Geek, guys. I went to a New York Mets game. Well, real quick, let's say this. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Today's video is sponsored by Seat Geek. Thank you. Seat With over Geek. twenty-eight million downloads, Seat Geek is the number. You know what? You know what Seat Geek would be a good name for? Stephen Hawking. I feel like it's the end of Star I mean, Wars. Yeah, well, because, you know. I feel like Princess Leia is about to give you a medal. Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. I mean, it was right there. You know, he's just fucking he's in a wheelchair. He's We're a, just having fun, folks. We're geek. just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> this video is sponsored by SeatGeek with over 28 million downloads. <laughs> I'm so brain damaged from making Holocaust jokes that anytime I see any, any number of million, I'm like, You're like oh, yeah. oh, like the community. Yeah, right, literally. Yeah. It's just, I have just brain damage. With over 28 million <laughs> downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more, like the furry convention. Maybe, yes. maybe not, maybe. I would, maybe, yeah, maybe. That's more. Um, okay, so talk about a live event you have attended or are excited to attend. That's you. You did. You went to a Mets I game. I went to a Mets game. I got and you didn't invite me. You were... Lies. Lies. I was with Tommy and Phil. Lies. You just didn't invite me. You went to Chappelle at MSG last night. Didn't invite me. And you were like, well, you were making dinner. You didn't even fucking... Of course I was making dinner. There was no plan. I got you seats for tonight. We have to... We're excited to get this fucking episode done with. We're finishing the episode. The next episode... The Chet Hanks gonna be, thing. Oh, we already announced it. Oh, no. Sorry. I said it in Denver. You said it. You've been telling everybody. I said it in Denver because I, I wanted to give them a little special treat for coming to your special. All right. Anyways. Well, now everyone gets a special treat. Now everybody gets a special We're going to finish the episode today. Hopefully, it'll be out liter- beginning of next the week. The delay has mostly been uh, 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 wanting to make the do bigger things than we can, which is now further yes. complicated by this the strikes and casting people and stuff. So right. We're going to have to do a dialed down version, which sucks because that's my only contribution to the show anymore. No, it's not. And, no, I mean, it literally is. The interview is going to be great. The interview, we're very happy with. The The intro is very good, too. And we're it's very not excited. Even, we have to do it today. But anyways, it'll we're be... We're doing it today. I'll tell you this. We haven't, you, just, all you have to say is it's, to not a, about, it's not about production value or anything like that. We just good or bad, it'll be fun. Oh, you were in Chicago when I went to the Mets game. No, I think you were. No. Oh no, you were in Maryland. You're you're now scanning through a schedule trying to peg this Mets game that you did. Your bar mitzvah. You did not invite me to, for any excuse as to why I was not invited. (sighs) I should have invited you. What do you think? I'm. What do you think? Going to see Grandma in the hospital, Mets game. Which one am I going to pick? Mets game. Obviously. Would have been way better than going to your And home. you didn't even fucking... Grandma hospital. You didn't even offer. Well, you're with your family. Was... That doesn't count. The hospital doesn't count. The hospital counts as family. I was looking for any excuse to get out of that. <laughs> I tried to put myself in the hospital. And here would have been a good excuse. I could have given it to you. Adam got three tickets... For forty dollars each, guess On what? Seeking. Face value, when I when I uh, download the tickets, they're a hundred dollar tickets. I got a great deal on SeatGeek, and guess what? The way you get a great deal on SeatGeek is that they rank every single one of the deals. Mm-hmm. So it's on a scale of like ten. 
So that deal was like a 9.8. So mm-hmm. they were like, you f- listen, you fucker, buy these tickets right now. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're an idiot. Yes, I actually got the tickets on Sword, Sword Buyer's Guide <laughs> magazine, which gave it a rating of buy now, which is <laughs> practically their highest rating. Yeah, yeah. It is, it, it is very convenient. I've used it a ton of times. I've gone to Knicks games on SeatGeek. It's, it's pretty much if I'm getting tickets for a live event, I use SeatGeek. And, I'm, and that's not even because they're sponsoring us today. It's just a very convenient and... Uh, it's got to be better than Ticketmaster, which is... Yeah, there's aren't no... Aren't they in trouble? Uh, Ticketmaster? Don't they, isn't the government constantly like, I ain't paying this for Lana Del Rey. We're, we're going to take you to the cleaner, son. I think Ticketmaster's in trouble for the Lizzo thing, no? <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. Should, I, the, the tickets are, they should be called Ticket Slave is how I feel with these prices. <coughs> With the with the <coughs> with these fucking prices. That's that's true. Uh, the yeah. fees. The fees. Talk about live event. The Mets game. You did that. I'm more excited to go see Lana Del Rey through Seat Geek. Show, We're big fans. We're big we have fans. To show the app on your phone and scrolling. App, Adam, if you want to pull that up. Don't. Adam will be pulling up the app on his phone and scrolling. I don't know if, know if our cameras can cover that. What? But Adam did genuinely, all of these advertisers are like, oh, you have to have like a personal endorsement. And truth be told, 95% of the time, I'm like, I can't get enough of this soap for your asshole, guy's asshole soap. And I'm, there's no way, it's not coming out of the packaging. I'm not using that shit. Let me find this app. But he really did use SeatGeek. That is a, this is a genuine personal endorsement. It's good for Mets games. I don't really don't know how to buy tickets for stuff, so this would be, yeah, this one's good. good for me because it seems like the Look only option. Okay, the Nationals are coming to visit the Yankees, right? Mm-hmm. Starting at $2. I can get grandstand level tickets, $2. Yeah. They On SeatGeek. Well, I'm not going to go. Um, yeah, so you go see... Uh, I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. Uh, uh, Yankees game for $2. $2. Um, artists, and that's ranked at 9.2 level deal. Yeah, artists at the, at like Drake, the 1975, and the Jonas Brothers, and Beyonce are on tour, and you don't want to miss that. 1975, enemy of the show. No, it's, it's our friend. Oh, is he? Oh, that's right. Yes, he is our the friend. The enemy is other. The, the enemy is other. I mix that up. I am women. not excited <laughs> to see. Women. I am not excited to see Taylor Swift. I'm excited to see the 1975 uh-huh. via Seat Geek, and uh, not not Taylor Swift. But yeah, mm-hmm. 1975. Go see Maddie. Yeah. Or you could be like us, and we could just we could fucking call him. We can be like, hey. Should we call him right should, now? It's your good friend. Can we just go see your show? For free. For free. And he'll say, you know what? You might as well use SeatGeek because that, that'll be an even better deal. Mm-hmm. A better deal using SeatGeek than free. Better than free. Better than free. Which wasn't that... Um, clo- everybody wants to be closer to free. What is that? Um, Line everybody right. wants to be... Everybody. You know that song from the 90s that was just in everything? Oh, it's like Mighty Mighty Boston. Or it's yeah. ska, isn't it? Yeah. What is that song? I never had to knock on everybody wood. Everybody won't. Everybody too. You know that fucking song? Gonna get a ride out of here. No, 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 that's, it's rude to do that. When someone's trying to remember a song and you're saying you other songs. Song. No, when you're doing to do that, Closer to Free, song by Bo Deans. How do you know all this kind of crap? Because I was alive for these years. Oh, they got a sketch at the beginning of the music video. What is it? What is it? It's party of, maybe it was the Party of Five theme song. Dude, that was too mature for me. What is it? What is it? If, yeah. If, party of Five was such a depressing show. Someone gets cancer? No, it's like both their parents die and then the older brother has to raise them. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I don't know. It's about family, resilience. But every episode was like, we don't have any money, so we're going to have to wear flannel. (laughs) We're We're going to have to be grunge style. We're going to have to burn the flannel. What does it mean if our friend sends me this gif and it's our friend who's telling me that I was embarrassing all last night? Hold on. Shane is saying it? Yeah, what does this gif mean? The morning after gif. 
Shane sent us? He just sent me that. This is like an aunt. This is like someone for like uh, that's like uh, it really into the office. You know that. this song. Everybody wants to be here. Today's episode is brought to you by Sea Geek and Party of Five. Uh-huh. Anyways, you know that song. What do you think? What does this mean? I don't know, but that is like that's like a fucking should we call H- him an HR manager at the car dealership? Yeah, it's like, it's, like yeah, yeah. What is what is Shane typing on his phone? Puppies? Que- P- puppies? <laughs> puppy, question mark? Puppy? Question mark? Jim. Should we call him and get to the bottom of it? No, we got to finish this read. Oh, Sea Geek. So if you want artists like Drake, on- the nineteen seventy five, yeah. the Jonas Brothers, which are people still who's uh, the Jonas Brothers fans? Got to be thirty seven years old at this point. I told you that. Brandon Wardell brought over the the youngest brother, the one that's not in the band, mm-hmm. and he stormed out of my house in dis, out of disgust for me. Why? I offended him. How? By I just, said two things. By the inter- first, by was he that, was trying to remember Jonas Brothers songs, and you were doing. Bob I said Dylan I was and, like, when you were like a kid, you ever get like? Did you ever get like? You asked him if he was molested. No, and, no, no, I was like, you're like, yeah, he was offended. <laughs> I was like, do you ever like? He uh, walked out of my house. This guy who was most likely. I was like, do you ever get chicks like from like from your brothers being famous? And he was like, that's actually a really offensive question. Yeah. And it's like not a. It's just a stupid question. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then um, I think someone said the 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 bat the R about mentally handicapped people. And then he like got really mad, and he was like, "My brothers have done so much work with the Make a Wish. My brothers, the Jonas." And brothers. and and you know what? They're still not better. <laughs> so, good job, thanks, Jonas Brothers. He got really really upset. You've done upset. you've done absolutely nothing to cure. Yeah. There's no. I don't think there is. He any just research. sang at them. They just sang at those. At those <laughs> yeah. Kids. Right. And I don't think Make a Wish is for that. I think it's you know for who's terminal done more? illness. You know who's done more for them than anybody? Nabisco. That company has it's done. True. That company has done so much for that community. And uh, where's the thanks? So that got so their youngest brother Brandon brought him over, and he got really mad about those two things. And then he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna go." And I was like, "All right, dude. I didn't. Thanks, Brandon, for bringing this fucking." Guy That's cool. Well, you, luckily, you're never going to see his name on Seed Geek. No. Because he's the one, he's the serious. He's the serious the brother. The serious yeah. brother. He's an academic. Yeah. Should we start a boy group called the Serious Brothers? Like a Tears for Fears kind of thing? Yeah. 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 Look at me right now, I'm being serious. <laughs> 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 there, I really like that. Okay, let's finish this read. All right, yeah. Read. Artists like Drake, 1975, Jonas Brothers, and Beyonce on tour. You don't want to miss that. Okay, uh, so here's what they do. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. So it's sort of like, uh, you know, it's like an aggregate, mm-hmm. right? Is that the word for it? Yeah, yeah. So you make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so you said that already. Yeah. So look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Now, I don't understand. What's the Why would they say something being sold on their website is bad, though? Yeah. I don't right? Yeah, I mean, it's also, I guess it's so you can get comparison. Yeah. Um, say, look. Then, it feels good to be like, you're I'm sure getting they, a deal. I'm sure they did a lot of research, and they said, look, you know, obviously what we're selling is the best ticket prices. Yeah. So we want to put those there, but if you put the bad ticket prices next to it, then psychologically you, you for, get an under yeah yeah yeah. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And swaps is in capital letters, so I'm sure that's a proprietary type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, a ticket swap. Swap technology. Swap technology. Yeah. They've got swap technology, guys. Yeah. And so, they got deal rating technology. Yeah. So let's say you bought tickets to Taylor Swift, right? And then... Not again with the one you're What's saying. that? Don't... He said he was going to bring gum. Let's say you bought tickets to Taylor Swift. He said it, a and piece then of gum. And two days before the Taylor Swift concert, you see her fan base... Engaging in anti-Semitism, yes. homophobia, uh-huh. and you say, "I don't, I, I know, can't, I don't want to be I, around that." I don't know if I can support yeah. this. Yes. So instead, I'm going to see the 1975. Uh-huh. Then you find Who love Jews. You find a woman on yeah, the 1975. That stands for 
um, it, like instead of paying twenty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> you got a deal. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> What's wrong with you? I don't know. I keep. I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> um, yeah, you find a Taylor Swift fan who is like, well, I don't want to support anti-Inuit or whatever. And she has 1975 tickets. You guys do the swap. You do the swap. You guys see the other one. And then in yeah. meeting up, I'm assuming all the swaps happen in real life. It just gives you You a, do an exchange under you, a bridge. You click, yeah, you click, you I want to swap. Do you have this stuff? Do you have right. this stuff? And then it gives you a parking garage and sets a time like yeah, 2 a.m. Yeah. And says, you're like, I'll be holding a please, red rose. Right, please show up stem. in a Dodge Dynasty with the seats in, yeah. a, in a briefcase from 1970. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then you can swap them. And then you meet the love. And you of your meet life. a girl. Yeah. yeah, you meet a girl. Yeah, do the red rose thing. That's how I met my girlfriend. Yeah, that was Somebody. wild. That there were like three articles. Maybe there was only one. There were like a new type of relationship. Adam Friedland show boyfriend Taylor Swift girlfriend. I'm like, it's, is everything now just need to be Dude, that's like a- viewed through the lens of like like memeified? Uh, uh, Everybody, everybody has to fit into a emergent meme always. I think it's it can't cool. just be a thing that happened. I think it's cool. Okay, it's all right, cool. whatever. That's a cool. It sounds right. cool. Okay, well then I will go fuck myself. No, you don't have to go fuck yourself. How would you even do that? The worm. The worm eats its own ass. Every ticket is backed by the buyer guarantee. I said that already. All right, so. And you know I came through for you guys. Use my code TAFS for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. So that means go go to SeatGeek right now. Use promo code TAFS. They will pay you eighteen dollars to go see a Yankees game. It's come on, yeah. Come on. Do you not like free? I don't know if that's really how it works, but you know. I guess if it's twenty dollars off and it's less than twenty dollars. Well, how about twenty dollars off tickets? Buy ten tickets to the Yankees game and it's free. Get 10 free Yankees game tickets. You get 10 for $2, yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Go to, go to SeatGeek.com. That's a much better deal. Right now, if you go to SeatGeek.com and yes. use promo code TAFS, you can get 10, take you and nine of your friends. If you the get Yankees. the $2 tickets. You get the $2 tickets. Yeah, 10 of those. Yeah. And, we, uh, yeah, and I know what you're going to say next. I don't have friends. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Guess what? Leg room. Yeah. You're going to be relaxing. Use the whole row. You can have diarrhea in your pants. You, you, it's like you have your own row at the on the fucking plane. You do three seats here, three seats here, three in the back, three on the other side. And uh-huh. then you have, uh, you just, you have diarrhea Buffer in that zone. chair and you just wink at the women yeah. around you. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to the diarrhea zone. Yeah, I create my own box. Bring your own plexiglass <laughs> and create your own skybox at the Yankees game. Yeah. And then you just suffocate in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you know, they'll put you in monument, uh, monument yeah. row. In fact, what you can do is you go to the Yankees game. Per the contract, it says you bought seats. Yes. Right? Not uh-huh. tickets. You buy seats. Bring a socket and ratchet set. Take the seat with you from Yankee Stadium. I think there's when nothing they st- in the rule book that when says they you can. stop you, yes. point to the contract. I paid for a seat. Uh-huh. It's got the number on it. The number corresponds to my ticket. Uh-huh. If you you want to take this to the fucking attorney general's yeah. office, let's take it to the fucking. Is that what you want? Because I know Loretta. You know her. I know Loretta. Is it still her? L- Lynch. Loretta Lynch. <laughs> Unfortunate name. Come on. That's twenty dollars off your first Come purchase on. with promo code TAFS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And then wait, there's more on here. Oh, that's right. Twenty dollars off your first purchase. Promo code TAFS Seat Geek. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good on that. Everybody wants. Okay. So that was technically, we got to figure out how to speed that up because that was technically a. How many more reads do we have? That was a 23 minute long read. That's awesome. (laughs) What do you mean? You wanted to say more shit about Hunter? This is fun. If we have another read. That one, then we'll adjust. That one would need to start. Then we'll adjust. Yeah, ten minutes ago, eleven minutes ago. Well, so. we can space them out. Yeah, 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 I guess we could put that in slot four. Yeah, right. You know, mm-hmm. which is at what, forty-eight minutes. Then we could cruise. Oh the my god, that. it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Well, show's over, folks. Show's fucking over. What do you mean by that text? 
What? The puppies? I have no idea. Just ignore him. He just kept saying I was embarrassing him last night. Just ignore it. Who <laughs> <laughs> gives a fuck? <laughs> Who cares what he thinks? It doesn't matter. Well, I wanted Dave Chappelle to think I'm cool. I don't know. Did you say something? Let me see the exchange. Because you only showed he me He just texted me that. And then I said, no, I said, see. LOL, the, and I said, phone. was it that bad? Give me the phone. Let's see here. He texted me this morning. Oh, okay. The puppies mean. Yeah, let's see if we can get a Jiffy back. There we go. I'm sending him this. What are you going to send him? All right. There we go. Now Pokemon? Now you got it. Now you're even. I'm going to say. It's Pikachu saying haters going to hate. That's cute. He looks really cute in that, actually. Pikachu? Pikachu. You ever date a girl like that? A P Pikachu? Where she can only say her own name in different intonations? No. Jessica! No, but I did see a field trip. Jessica! A field trip of mentally disabled adults going to Cinnabon this week. Pikachu style, guys? I don't know. They're mentally disabled people. I, I feel like I, I would love a job like that. Maybe not adults. To be like a, what, like a... Uh, um, a field trip guy. A field trip guy. The dream job for me, and I think I've said this on the show, is working at like a, uh, like a, like a, like a woodland kind of education center. Yeah, park schools, ranger? No, not park ranger, but schools bring field trips, and I live there. It's like probably 500 acres, and there's hiking trails, uh -huh. and there's like... Uh, you know they have like uh, like rescue animals, and you have. To, I don't work on the animals. I'm I'm just the field trip guy, so I can go around. I can be like, this is, this is actually a, an Italian owl, so it mm -hmm. lives off spaghetti, or I thought, and now it's in the hospital. Oh, you'd and, be funny about it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, I thought it ate spaghetti, mm -hmm. and this actually was just a. So, an so owl it wouldn't alarm. be actual education. It would be. Um, it would be actual education. I'd have fun. There'd be balloon animals and shit. I'd fucking, I'd have fun with it, dude. But the owl is an Italian. I would love be to be, I would be kids. like, a, do, do like a Bill Nye thing and be out in the woods. And you wouldn't be allowed there. So none of your like, what, so what, what is this? None of that attitude. Why can't I go? I would take my family. No, you'd be complaining. You'd be like, No, I'd understand. take my family to see my old friend First Nick. First of all, you, no, you He's wouldn't. a, he, he, he devoted himself to it like a you, noble cause you now. Would be, you would be allowed to come to the nature, the, the area, whatever you call that, a reserve, preserve. Mm -hmm. Whatever the fuck you call a big wooded area where you go on field trips and they have animals. That Do you are have an event space? I don't know, but that you people would, can book out. You'd be allowed to because I'm going to book my wedding there. There would be no overlap, and you'd have to attend. There would be no overlap between the field trips and your presence because of your biting comments seeking to undermine. I think people like the really one, the one thing I found where I feel like I'm actually contributing something. No, what are you talking about? You could come. You could come hang out, but you are not you are not going to be privy to But any I wouldn't of tell them that you're a bad field trip. You'd be guy. sitting there snickering the entire time, acting like a fucking asshole. You're not coming. You're not coming. You think I'm a, a You're not coming on the field. Do trip. people think I'm an asshole? Um more of like a snake than an asshole. Yeah, I get that sneaky snake. Yeah, you're but that's a, like a that's like a it's a semitism, no? And, no. An asshole is a guy that, like, kind of, like, you know, he's addicted to people, but he gets his way. You're sort of, like, um... Yesterday, yeah. Brace was telling me I'm rude yesterday. I ran in... He you lives in my neighborhood. You are rude. He's like, yeah, well, you're rude. You are rude. I'm nice to my friends. You're, like, you're very aloof. You don't listen to people. But I'm just that... I'm just a... That's just me, like, being in my, my own head. That's, that's being up my own that's ass. That's what's called being selfish. Is, yeah. No, but aloof is more like I, you don't merit listening. No, you know it's like the the criticism that uh, what was it? Uh, uh, I'm gonna kill myself, dude. I'm gonna kill myself. No, not. Um, what's what the hell name? are we gonna do? What's the big f Orson Welles' his criticism of? Was it Woody Allen? He shit on Woody Allen. He's like, yeah, I hate this. I hate this kind of guy. The like false modesty, neurotic guy. He's like, that's just masking like just outsized narcissism. The guy that's like, oh, you know, kind of down on himself. You know. He said that about Woody. He said about Woody, yeah. But the movies are funny. 
Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. I watched The Player again last night. We love it. It's a great movie. We love it. Yeah. It's also, really that good. era, that era of like the Spago era of like old Hollywood, the, power, the, the Armani power suit like era, early 90s. You know what's interesting? So the player came out in 1992. And we studios. Were, we were talking about the swing revival being That was mid-90s. Ushered, yes. The player came out in 1992. And we were talking about the swing revival being ushered in by the movie The Mask and then blown out by Swingers, which was 1995. Perhaps. Swingers. And the math, 1994. Player, 1992. And um, I, I learned that the player, the, the um, production design, was like uh, specifically meant to evoke the 1930s, but not in like an oppressive way. So I always thought watching it that this was just like a straight on like interpretation of contemporary fashion in 1992 you know but it wasn't actually it was like specifically designed to evoke like that 1930s stuff so it might even have been the player that sort of ushered in this like uh 1930s big suit kind of deco revival people dressed like that though already right? prior to that i think so that those big suits because those are all custom made my the theory my theory is this yeah it is the the suits got big and society followed as the suits got bigger, it was the the hand fit the glove, mm -hmm. or the glove fit the hand. I don't I don't know what what that means really, but they they were like, damn, look at how big these suits is getting. They were like, we better get back into like zoot suit riot. And that's what I'm saying. Kind of stuff. But it was I guess it was the player that ushered in the big suits, which then ushered in the swing revival two years later. Mm -hmm. So it was led initially by the player is responsible for the mask, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Robert Altman sort of created Jim Carrey's character, The Mask. The Mask, and then Swingers. Yeah, he should have done The Mask. Robert Altman? Yeah, that Everyone's was talking at the same time. sick, yeah. Dude, that movie is so good, The Player. Yeah. Wait, how? who's sending the letters? What's the answer at the end of the movie? You never see who's You never see who it is. No, no, no. It's a, what's it, MacGuffin or something? MacGuffin. Gins? What do you mean MacGuffin? Ginsburg? MacGuffin. MacGuffin. Is the name of the guy sending the letters? No, a MacGuffin is like, a, it's like you, the entire movie you're like expecting to find something out and you never do. Oh, Hitchcock a, did it a lot. Oh, okay. Is that, yeah, I didn't know. Is it MacGuffin? Yeah. MacGuffin. Yeah, I didn't. Well, you sort of do, but only over the phone. At the end of the movie, yeah. so you think he, he finally gets called in for the police lineup and then the witness identifies the cop, Lyle Lovett. And then they just end up having to drop it. And then it cuts to a year later, and the movie within the movie is coming out. Right. And his dispute with, uh, like, what's his name? Uh, Peter Gallagher's character never really goes anywhere. The movie ends up being a success, but he gets promoted higher in the company since he originated the idea. He had nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. His um, ex-girlfriend, the only person that he has... Who gets any, promoted? Uh, Tim Robbins does. Tim Robbins yeah. does. His ex-girlfriend, who's the only person at the beginning of the movie that he has, seems to have any kind of meaningful emotional relationship with, right. she gets fired and he leaves her to fuck the woman that, uh, whose boyfriend he, he murdered. And then, and then it just it's him going back home to see her and she's pregnant and he gets a phone call from him. He's like, yeah, I got a story for you. It's about a shithead exec who he's getting harassed by a writer so he thinks he confronts him but he murders the wrong guy. And then he's like, so now the rest of the story is, you know, blackmail and, you know, worried about it. You uh, know? Self and then he goes, he goes, but there's a surprise twist. He's like, what's the twist? He's like, he gets away with it. And he's like, can you guarantee me that ending? He's like, yeah. And he's like, if you can give me a deal. He's like, yeah, we got, we got a deal if you can guarantee me that ending. He's like, great, yeah, we'll do it. And then he just goes home to the wife who's pregnant. So he just b buys his way out of the... That's awesome. Yeah, but it wraps up in like two seconds. It's, that's it's awesome. Yeah, it's a great It's like movie. a single punchline. It's like a movie yeah, that yeah, yeah. builds to one punchline. Yeah, yeah, player's great. You know, it'd be a good uh, double feature. You'd need like 12 hours to do it, but that and shortcuts. I kind of always oh, associate. Another, another Altman movie, yeah. Like a you know it'd be a really Southern good California, you know, that I, actually, era. I thought of this. You know it'd be a very good double feature is... Star Wars A New Hope and The Empire Star Wars Strikes 1 Back. and 2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this would be. I was thinking about that the other day. What an, what an interesting double feature that would be. 
the, the the gold member and the spy who shagged. Uh, yeah, is is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what an interesting sort of pairing that would be. Mm-hmm. Almost an aperitif and a mm-hmm. and a vichyssoise the way they. I do think it would be a vicious wa. Sort of, sort of the interplay. So you agree that it'd be a vicious wa? Yes. Sort of the interplay between, you know, uh, Jay, you're. I'm not I'm like Adam that. I'm Friedland, and today I'm we're not talking like that. about. You're, I thought you know it'd be an interesting. You broke the mug. An interesting combination of films would be. <laughs> you know what I thought would be interesting is. Uh, <laughs> both L.A. movies. Yeah. Same era. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would be a fantastic double feature. It's probably already one of the Criterion channels, like pre programmed double features. I probably copied it. Yeah, you probably copied it. I probably copied it. it. Yeah. But it was just like the movies of Robert Altman. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not even like a <laughs> yeah. double feature. <laughs> Yeah, you broke the mug, you fucking bastard. Bro- break them. I didn't yes, you did. Look at these shards. Whatever, we got a vacuum. We got gear, dude. I don't know. My mic pack? Look know. at this, it's destroyed. How I am I going to drink out of this I don't crap? know. How I don't am know. I going to drink out of this? I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. Dude, we have, this is like insurance. We have, like, there's liability. I don't know. Uh-huh. I don't understand business. But. Yeah. We still got the other mug. And it's, you probably really shouldn't be giving these mugs to guests because they don't get cleaned. What they're going to put in the dishwasher when they get home? I saw, we had a 97-year-old guest in here. and you're, First of all, there is no dishwasher. You go to the bathroom and run it under the sink. Don't tell the guests that. <laughs> Don't offer them stuff. I, there's, you had, you've had legit senior-ass citizens on this fucking well, show. Last two have been. And when old. I see, there, who is it that was like coughing? They're like, oh, I just need a little bit of water. And they're drinking out of it. I'm like, you're going to fucking. Douglas Levinson, dude. No, there was more than that. That was Douglas Levinson. There was two guys on that here. That was Doug. The combined age of the two of them is 275 years yeah, old. Yeah, but those were pre-existing conditions. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Those weren't mug issues. You should be the only one drinking out of the fucking mug. If the guest wants no, a coffee, I we'll don't run want... down the... Where did that come from? It was on my foot, a shard. Oh, all right. I thought it somehow wound up up there. Oh, no, no, it tricked you. Yeah. That was very uh, mind, freak. Sack. mind freak. Oh, my, I mind freak too. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You know, you know why they call him mind freak? In all the scenes where he's closing his eyes, he's imagining having sex with children. That guy's a real freak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm freaky. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of freaky. Yeah. Um, we gotta finish this episode. I'm pretty excited about it. Chris Angel. Angel. Yeah. We should get him on the show. Too tough, dude. Mm-hmm. It's difficult. I told you I went to a show in Vegas. I met him. Yeah. Well, I didn't meet him. I said something to him. I thanked him. Yeah. For the gift he's given the world. That's cool. Also, Lewis was bothering me. Are you going to Skanks Fest? What date is it? I don't know, but he was like, yeah, like Adam was like insulted by the offer that we gave him. I don't think that was it at all. I think I should probably what missed he said, emails. No, I don't believe Lewis is not a liar. Why would I say to Lewis, this is an insult? Well, he was like, even if I thought that, why would I say like, that? He to was the like, you, you guys offered Nick all this money and you didn't offer me shit. And I literally did not say that. Well, but that, that's what he said. And I was like, well, that just means that I've, I've out, out alpha the alpha. I guess, but. You have to counter that. Like I didn't. The money I got from them is because I asked for it. I didn't take the first what offer. People offer you. You get offers, and then you go around town telling everybody what a bad offer it was instead of countering. From what? From everything. Everything. Every time. When do I, I get offers from? They're anything? like, yeah, they offered me this. Isn't that fucked up? It's like just counter. Just offer them something else. I mean, that's how you know how things work. You start off fucking. They Did start you? off low. You're a pretty smart guy. Counter. Yeah. And then I uh, fuck with them. Yeah, instead, you just d- permanently destroy your relationship with people by going around town and talking Who shit. Who did I go- going around town? What are you talking about? Go around fucking... And what relationship have I destroyed? You go around town fucking being like, oh, they Any dis- relationships I've destroyed have not been from, uh, from offers. I tell you what, there are legitimately offers that are insults. Those do exist. And those are the ones that... We got one that. for the show. What do you mean? For some people we were talking to. Oh, yeah. Um, this show? Yeah. No, we didn't. For the renewal thing. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an insult. That was an insult. Uh, but even then, that's not even really an insult. That's just a little bit of a hardball offer. There are there are deals. That was a hardball offer. I got I got an so offer. So wait, can you explain this to me? I got an offer. So Let me what's, tell you a, what's an insult? What's a hardball offer? What's a sweetheart? It's package? subjective. What's but, a sweetheart deal? I mean, the sweet. That's like a. It's about like a Hunter Biden thing. You Nobody, get to kiss. There's no sweetheart deals in actual negotiations. Well, maybe. Anyways, maybe it's like one of those like you, I've got. I suck your dick. You don't suck There's mine, one deal so. I've gone around and been like, "This is fuck." I've I've done the go around town talking about shit. Shit. What on. You mean around town? Where are we I've going? I've gone around town talking shit about one deal in the last year, and uh, and it wasn't just offered to me. The other person that got that offer, they also did the same thing, and then it got back to who made the offer, and then they, I, from what I have heard, it said, "Oh, that was a mistake that that offer went out that way." So that's how you know. That's but that it. was a chip. You, that was a, nego- a chip. I'm not. I'm done negotiating. I mean, it's like if that's if that's the initial offer, then I have no interest in hearing. Even oh, if, so you never got a counter. Even if, the, even if the next, there's no counter to be made. I mean, it's like fucking, like if somebody was like, hey, I'll give you twenty dollars to fly to fucking, you know, fly to Maui to do an, like seventeen shows. Yeah. I, that email would go in the garbage, and I, you know, I'm not going to be like, okay, well. I see your twenty dollars, and I raise you fifty thousand. I mean, it's like, it's like I'm just not. You doing remember it. with the old show, we got that offer to go to Philly, the three of us for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, and it had an exclusivity ninety day clause. exclusivity. No, yeah. it, it said we couldn't uh, perform within a hundred miles of Philly, which encompasses New York City. Right. Yeah, for six months. For like six months. Yeah, yeah six months before and three months after. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't perform. For, yeah. for four hundred dollars each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an insult. Yeah, I mean, honestly, spitefully, it's like we should have done it and never promoted the show whatsoever. Just gone to Philly, had them pay for a hotel, got a cheesesteak, show up at the venue. There's three people in attendance. We drink every soda in the fucking green room. Yeah, free. Yeah, free. And it's like, great. Sounds like you guys got your twelve hundred dollars worth off your eight tickets sold. <laughs> Thanks. Great doing business with you. No, then we would have had to pay also like a an agency fee also on the on the twelve. Not on the soda. Not on the soda. Not on the soda. Not all the shit we eat in the green room. You're really good at this. You're really good at this. Yeah. Well, I watch and the also play. like watching watch the, player. the player. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say the player. The player. <laughs> yeah. You watch the player. Yeah, I love the player. Um. Should we should we shoot this thing? Yeah, let's wrap up. I know it's okay. it's a little bit Guys, early, we're very but... anxious to finish the what you now know is the Chet Hanks episode. Um, also, I'm going to be in Washington D.C. this weekend, starting tomorrow through Saturday. Five shows. Also, uh, I'll be I'll be to Boston at the Wilbur Theater. I think on the 15th or the 16th. They added a second show. I beautiful. don't know where those are at, but that is my last show for the year outside of Skanks Fest, which I will mostly just be. Um, Gambling and hopping on uh, uh, like showcases. I'll call Lewis and I, yeah, I call hope he Lewis. doesn't feel bad. Adam though. comes out too. Um, what Skank, date is Skanks Fest? It's like three days. I know that I have to be Where there. We were we are doing Bastard Radio again, but I have to coordinate with uh, Tim's schedule. But um, yeah, I'm excited. Now that my schedule is clear, it's like I can just, oh yeah, it'll be fun. I'll just go hang out. And then, What's uh, the date of that? September? Uh, I will just be mostly be using Skanks Fest as a, as a way to generate or run new material. Beautiful. So I can pick up Beautiful. touring again in March uh, or February of next year. Hopefully, whenever, whenever I, I have the, just the structure of, you know, I can stand on stage for an hour and say things that I haven't said before. Love I'm really excited, dude. I, even I don't care how the special does. It's just like knowing it's like check, it's done. That material's done. It's like I don't have uh-huh. to think about it ever again. And like the finality of it is like something that's always kind of been missing in stand up. Yeah. Um. You know, I always thought it'd be frustrating because like even when we did it, it was there was more stuff. I was like, oh, I could say this. I could say this. Uh-huh. I could, like I added the things. And um, I always thought like, oh, if you record it, then it's done. It's locked, and you can never add to anything ever again. But um, maybe that's good. It's good to f- just throw away. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Just just like throw it out, forget about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good policy in life in general. But yeah. guys, 
we're very excited. We're very happy around the studio. Um, and we're going to be, we're going to be, we have four episodes of the talk show in the pipeline and we're going to finish them all. Yeah, we got it. We have, now that I'm off the road, we have much more time to shoot it. Although Adam is now planned to, he's going to Greece for six weeks. I'm so. going for a week and a half with my Goyle friend. Yeah. My Goyle friend. I'm with my Goyle friend. That'd be fun. That'd be nice. Again. It'll be nice. Zero I, invitation. No, nothing. Extend, no offers. It's it's me. It was a girlfriend kind of thing. I could have had my own cabana. We're not, you can, I could have had my own. You can come. There could have been different Why don't you gondolas. Come? I could have been behind you several Just feet. hit up Stephen because I talked to him yesterday. He's like, oh, maybe I should get my dentistry done in Greece and not in Florida with Kyle's uncle. And I was like, yeah, just do that. So maybe you go with Steven, take him to the dentist, go to the Acropolis. I don't know if I really want to. That might seem a little weird if you're with your girlfriend and I'm with Steven. And I'm, I'm much happier where it's just you, me, and Maya. I, that's how I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Washington this weekend, starting tomorrow. Love you. Cut. Okay, Ginzi, let me tell you what I'm thinking for this thing.